the idea is that, you know, AI can have the cup, players can have the other stuff. And so long as the players have a uniform amount of, or a uniform quality to their equipment, then it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, if you want, like, the the super high fidelity fatigues or something, then that's cool, but just make sure that, like, your backpacks are good, your yeah, helmets everything are good, else is everything good. Yeah, else yeah. is good. And that's what I was talking about, yeah. is, like, having a once-off asset that's just, like, leaps and bounds beyond everything else and makes that asset out of place. Yeah. Um, plus, like, the higher quality it is, the more polys it is, the less frames you get. Not necessarily, though. Uh, like, yeah, my... That's entirely how it works. <laughs> no, like, um, for example, my my rail, I think, is pretty high like fidelity. However, the polys are pretty low because it's, like, a low-poly model with a high-poly a high poly UV map. Yeah, you can have high quality yeah. texture maps. That's... Yeah. So it's not the the complexity of the mesh is not that great. Like it's not really that complex. It's just a cylinder with a rail on top and some holes yeah. in it. Um so it, it's not really that many tries, but um Is the uh is the other slits normal maps? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know how it's got like the little grooves on it? The grooves on it. Yeah. That, yeah that's yeah. all done in normal. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that why well, that's how it should be done. Yeah. Um and I think that's fine for those like simpler assets, but when you're looking at like vehicles or like anything a bit bigger, yeah, that you can definitely go a bit crazy with it. And like, I'll send you a picture now, Chambers. Where are we? And and also the all the lotting as well. Like they don't do their lots properly. Yeah. Then you have a guy with some really high poly weapon that looks cool to him, but then you're rendering it at one and a half Ks. I was sitting in Zanvin's uh, co-pilot seat on Friday night while I was doing my assignment, and they were talking oh, yeah. about, oh man, can you see, like, can you see the AA yet? And I was like, fucking fly back in and go across to my little camera view, and I'm like, nope, it's too far away. Let me bump up my render distance, bump it up yeah. to 10Ks, and then my computer crashed. Fuck! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just armor, actually. Sorry, I slipped my yeah. turn. You got what I mean? Like, yeah. Bumped it up too high, my armor had a fit. Yeah, I never really go above, like, 5Ks. Let's be real, there's no real fucking reason need no. to need to. Oh, the, yeah, and that's yeah. only if I'm in something yeah. I need to look really far. Otherwise, I think even as infantry, my render distance is only like 2k. My maybe. render distance for infantry is like... It's like nothing. 1500? Yeah, I think I bumped... After, <laughs> funnily enough, after we... Um, Swap to the one time sites. I was like, fuck, I don't need to see further than 500 meters. Yeah. <laughs> like, just just bring bring it all down. Shit down. Yeah. Like, I'm not shooting at anything a K away. Why don't yeah. I need to see that far? Yeah. I guess so the other I run, thing. Run around the... getting 100 FPS. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing with the textures is texture size. Yeah. Like, I am. Um... I do like a lot of the work in a substance painter on 2K and then downsize to 1K yeah, for a lot of it. But I yeah. think I kept my rail at 2K. Yeah. Just like... Like, you look at that picture there. It's a suppressor that I'm working on at the moment. The color balancing and the bloody shininess is all off at the moment. But point still stands that, like, you can see all the fucking, like, little bits of the fabric and shit. And that's mm. a 